Achi, and Shimamura. Starting off our list is one of the most progressive anime I've come across in recent memory. Let's be honest, there isn't any proper depiction of homosexual couples in anime, and this is where Adachi and Shimamura shines. It's a beautiful journey of love and self-acceptance. It follows two students, Sakura Adachi and Haugetsu Shimamura, who stumble upon each other and become friends. As their friendship gradually grows closer to a less platonic one, they're faced with a choice to either choose to act upon them or to let them drown out. The contrast of both these characters' different personalities and traits makes for an exciting romantic drama that you'll not forget so easily. Fukuminke Noise is about longing of parted friendships and lost love waiting to be united once more. Fukuminke Noise follows a story of Nino, who sings her songs at the beach, alone by herself for the ocean to take her songs across the seven seas to those that are departed. Nino's passionate tale of reconnecting with her first love and a young composer takes us on an emotional roller coaster, where the love triangle isn't as simple as it looks. Fukuminke Noise is a love story that's measured mainly by the beautiful songwriting featured in this anime along with some stellar performances which shake up our hearts. Beastars Beastars isn't just your typical anime romantic series. It's a show that puts a ton of focus on the class issues that surface around our world in a world where instead of humans, the characters are sophisticated anthropomorphic animals. In the world of Beastars, the carnivores and herbivores have an uneasy tension consistently existing between the two types of species. This creates for a setting that is filled with civil unrest and prejudice. The story mixes into that setting very well, following a gray wolf by the name of Legoshi, who's feared because of his predatory nature. However, everything changes for him when he meets Haru, a white dwarf rabbit. Their increasing feelings for each other become a subject to a ton of complications for Legoshi's mental health, as he fights between his predatory nature and his love for Haru. This is a love story that everyone needs to watch. It has a ton of heart put into it, and has some of the best animation in recent memory. Recovery of an MMO Junkie Recovery of an MMO Junkie is one of the most underrated anime in recent memory. It follows the story of the quirky Moriko Morioka, who after years slaving away at a 9-to-5 job, has finally called it quits. Now unemployed, and with nothing to do, she spends her time playing an MMO known as Fruits de Mer, where she plays as the handsome male hero, Hayashi. This is where she meets the adorable healer named Lily, who's played by none other than an awkward encounter she has. Yuta Sakura, a shy office worker, plays Fruits de Mer as well, and her chance encounter with Moriko is just what both of them brush off as an awkward meeting. However, with the wheels of fate spinning in their favor, there's more to their story than they both think will ever be. Orange Orange is a series about regrets. It's also a series about fixing your worst mistakes, which is an opportunity that not many people get. However, at its best, Orange is a character study of its incredibly well-written cast of characters, each of them more unique than the last. The most unique of them all is the main character, Naho Takamiya. Her sophomore year of high school turns upside down when she receives a letter telling her of all the regrets in her future life. Turns out that the note is from her own self 10 years in the future. With no idea how the letter got here, Naho is skeptical. However, the letter turns out to be true. And so she sets out on a mental journey to fix all of the things that she did wrong according to the letters. And yes, this involves a romantic affair with a transfer student. Strongly recommend this series. It's somewhat reminiscent of Makoto Shinkai's Kimi no Nawa. High School Girl The story of Haruo and his high-scoring and arcade games addiction can be summarized very easily. Haruo loves setting records while aiming to be a professional gamer. He's outclassed by a girl, and damn does he fall in love. High Score Girl is a series not just about love and adolescence, it's a series about a lover's bout, a lover's rivalry, and ultimately, lover's realization. I won't get into it too much, because it might spoil the show, but you just have to watch this hardcore gamer show and see how good it is for yourself. That's it for this new video, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!